Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you the idea infographics. I have used the bulbs. Generally, we use bulbs to show the ideas. And this is how the slide looks. When I click, it will show you the first idea. Or you can just change the title. Then the third and the fourth. Likewise, I have created one more where it will come from top and then this is the last one so let's see how to create this beautiful infographic slide in powerpoint add a new slide go to view enable the guides now i'm going to draw the bulb to draw the bulb go to insert shapes and select the oval shape and hold the shift key so that it comes a perfect circle go to align center align middle and shape outline make it no outline go to insert shapes select a rounded corner rectangle draw maybe this much size make it somewhat curved shape outline no outline and align say center then i'm going to select this press ctrl d and change the color and ctrl d once again change color to some other colors and i'm going to place exactly here if you see here it should be perfectly aligned to this one or maybe you can zoom it and this side also you bring this one here down and make sure that both are aligned the top and then I'm going to insert shapes I'm going to select one more rectangle I will just copy the rectangle this much and I'm going to select all these objects merge just say fragment and I will delete the unwanted See, you can see here the shape is almost ready and this also extras are there which I will just remove also. So bulb shape is almost ready. I'll just select this one, format, merge shape and just say union. So you can see here the bulb design is ready. Now let's make the top part of the bulb which is the metal one. For that go to insert shapes. Select a rectangle. Give a different color and make it no outline. Press ctrl D to duplicate. And add one more. And then select all the objects merge shape say fragment and delete the unwanted parts and then i'm going to select all press ctrl g to group it and rotate the bulb Uh, let's change the background of the slide right mouse click you can go to the format background and say gradient fill by default i have used the this color light and dark blue colors and then i'm going to select the bulb and rotate it and right mouse click group ungroup it this 
bulb I'm going to make it white color and the top part I'm going to give a gradient fill but with a white and gray color I'll just say white this will be gray and again this will be white and you can give some like this and using the anime uh, format painter I'll copy to the other also now you can see here this part is also ready now I'll make it somewhat down and then I'm going to select this press ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to give some different color maybe yellow and again put it back make sure that it is aligned properly and then i'm going to keep only this much part and the other one i'm going to remove for that go to insert shapes select an oval shape so i'm going to keep only this much part of the bulb so i'm going to select this yellow color and this blue format merge shape just say subtract you can see here it end up only with this one and this also i'm going to give a gradient fill but not the blue i'm going to use white color and here also i'm going to use white color and one white i'll make it more transparent and i will select maybe this one and this also I'll make it somewhat transparent and this also all right and then go to insert shape select an oval shape and draw the oval shape like this shape outline make it no outline and fill with white so you got this shape now so that I'm going to add some icons to it so you can see here almost our design is ready let me just remove these guidelines go to view and remove the guidelines and if you want I'm going to make one more thing here I'll just make this fully white and this one i'll make it fully transparent you can see here and i will just change so that it will look like a glass effect so i'll just put only this one here see it looks like a a kind of a glossy or effect here is shining and select all this press ctrl g to group it so that i can reduce the size or increase the size so i'm going to make four bulbs so first let me just uh, reduce the size so this will be one ctrl d this could be one here let me just make it somewhat bigger this will be one here Control D this will be more bigger and last one more here I will increase the size a little bit further so you can see here then I'm going to just select these colors and I'm going to first let me just ungroup to change the colors right mouse click group ungroup then I will select this because this is selected so I cannot able to select so for the meantime I'll just move this and I will change the color maybe green and put this back and this also I'm going to select this and I will give maybe blue and again put it back
Now I'm going to change the color of this and select any good color, maybe pink and put this back and then you can add the wire for that again select the rectangle maybe this much size is enough I'm going to select this home format painter and select this Control D, put this one here and reduce the size. And I'm going to select this Control D and increase the size. And the last one, select this and select all these wires and send this to back. And here also you can reduce the size. So you can see here almost we have done with the design. So I'm just going to add the icons now. To add the icons, you can go to insert icons and select any good icons here and you need to have a active internet connection and office 365 version of powerpoint so let me just randomly select some of the icons here maybe i'll select this one and two i'll select this and lastly i will select maybe uh, this one and insert i'm going to put each one one here let me just put this one here and I'm going to fill this with green color, light green and this one I'll put it here, maybe I'll fill it with blue, this I'll put it here, I'll make it yellow and this one I'll make the same color which is red. and select all these objects the icons only and go to format shadow under presets select this one perspective upper left so that you can see here it has given a shadow effect and you can increase the distance also something like this and add the text here insert text i'll just say type your text here reduce the size center align control d to copy and put it here And that's it. So I'm just going to select each bulb, Control G to group it. Select this bulb second, Control G. The third one, Control G. And the fourth one, Control G. Now let's add simple animation to it. Close the background, go to animation, enable the animation pane, select this one just say fly in fly in i will just say from top and double click you can increase some bounce effect and some smooth start 
and timings you can make it medium and then using the animation painter I'm going to copy the animation to the other bulbs double click select this one then select the third bulb and then select the fourth bulb and that's it so let's see how the slide looks uh, in the slideshow so here when I click the first bulb will come then the second the third and the fourth and if you want you can just change some background also and you can give some different effects if you like so that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel powerpoint university That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.